All right, welcome. My name is Joseph Bernal, and I'm your instructor for this course. Uh, hopefully, you can see on the screen as well. I'm sharing my screen a uh, copy of our Blackboard. I know I wanted to make a video to kind of guide everybody through. There's a lot of questions I saw about where do I find this, where do I go for this, and so I thought it's just a lot easier if I make a video instead of uh, you know trying to like answer every single question. The video might help. So if you take a look at Blackboard on your screen. I have what I call the welcome screen, right? And that was the class introduction versus click here. You see that on the left hand side. And it kind of just gives you a little uh, background synopsis of like, you know, how the course is going to work, you know, what to expect. Uh, especially, you know, the first week when we get started, we look at the syllabus. Uh, there's going to be a group project, which is called the PowerPoint assignment. And there's going to be a report as well along with that. And I'm going to go into detail about how to work that. So I saw most of you went into the discussion board for week one, which worked well. Everything seems okay for the so far. And then we're going to start building on that from, from there. So let's take a look at some of the uh, features of Blackboard and where you can go to find some things. So for example, the uh, PowerPoint assignment, and that's a group project. You can go over here on the left-hand side, and you'll see PowerPoint assignment, and then you'll see a folder there. And with that folder, just click on it, and this should pop up. So you have instructions on how to do the PowerPoint assignment. Uh, you have what I call a PowerPoint report, that goes along with that assignment. And those are two separate assignments, but they're related to each other. And I'll explain in a second. So with what you're gonna do with the PowerPoint uh, report is that when you work as a group, right? There's always those cases where, well, so-and-so wasn't doing their work, or you know, we were trying to work together, but they never responded, and they really didn't even contribute to the project. This is why I made a copy of and an assignment, its own separate assignment called a report. This is where you document everything that's going on in while you're working together. Who's doing what, who was responsible for what, and who didn't carry out what they were supposed to be responsible for. Uh, you'll see me glance to the right side. I have two screens going on, so just to let you know. So what you're gonna do is down for the report, you're gonna download the report. You're going to fill it out. I already did a template, so you don't have to worry about well, what is this report going to look like? What do I have to put in it? And it's already kind of set up for you. So, and then you're going to submit it once you're done. Now, each member of the group is going to do that. So, let's say you have a group of three, right? You're assigned to a three person group. So, one person, let's say the lead for that group, is going to submit the PowerPoint project. So you only need one person to do that. But the report is a chance for everybody to kind of get feedback on how the, the group worked together or didn't work together. So every individual in the group has to submit a report. And that's going to be due the same day as your PowerPoint group project is going to be due. So let's go back. So here you can download right below, it says copy of PowerPoint report. This is your template you're gonna download. And it'll open up. And this is what it's gonna look like. Here you're going to have your group, you're going to fill this out, say your group one, and the date that you are submitting your PowerPoint and your report, uh, your name, whatever the subject was, whatever the topic that you had to do a report on, the paper, uh, the due date, and then activities completed, and then 
who was responsible for what. So you see right below that group member's name, what you're going to do then is going to submit the particular, let's say you have three people in your group, right? So person one, what were they assigned? Those were the tasks. And then when does that task do? So of course, everybody has to put all their input together and put it into one PowerPoint. But before they did that, right? You know, let's say person one was assigned with the first three slides. Okay, when did they have to have the first three slides, you know, done? What date, right? So that the so that one person can put everything together, right? For me. So make sure you have the date for when that let's say person one had to put those first three slides together. Did they do that? Did they complete that? Were there issues? This is where the third box, you can provide information on that. You know, so-and-so didn't submit them on time or they didn't reach back to us, you know. And then other, other things that don't fit within the issues, team comments or contributions, you know, uh, other things that you want to mention as well. And so once you fill that out, you save it, and then you can simply just uh, submit that. So, well, let me switch screens real, real quick and then let me show you what that looks like in the boxes. Just a sec. So now you see the, the template that I have, the top where you put your group, the date, your name, whatever chapter or subject paper that you, your group was responsible for, the due date and whatever activities you completed, right? And then individual group members, group number one, what did they do, what were they assigned, and when they completed that, any issues like I mentioned right now, and uh, also you can add any, any extra information you thought that might be relevant. We were great together. I enjoyed it. Uh, anything else that you know, maybe you want to praise another group member, they went above and beyond, uh, things like that. And then so you're going to save this as a Word file. And then let me switch over to Blackboard again. And then what you do is you'll submit it here, where it says submit individual report here. And there's where you click on the title. And then you are able, since you saved it as a word file, you're able to attach it and submit. Now for the PowerPoint, the actual group project, right? Here are the instructions for the PowerPoint. What you're going to do basically is put together a PowerPoint where you're going to give us a good synopsis, a good summary of what the paper was about that your group had to read, right? What was the text about? And so what I want to see is a couple of things on this checklist. I want to see that you're going to provide a general statement. What was the philosopher talking about? What was the main point of the paper? What were they trying to prove in the paper? And then a summary. So how did they get there? Like, what are the main points? What are the things that they talked about, you know, in order to back up what they were trying to say? And questions and answers clarify and analyzing the text. So you came up with questions, right, as you're reading the text and saying, hey, you know, as a group, we I didn't really understand this at this part. You talked about it and say, okay, this makes sense. Okay, now I have a better idea. So share that as part of your presentation. You know, because your peers also probably have the same questions as well. So, you know, you're making this PowerPoint not for so much for me, but for your fellow students, right? This is kind of like a guide to help your fellow students out so they know, you know, what's going on in the paper and they can get some feedback as well. So this is kind of a study thing for them and for yourself, right? So that you'll use later. 
And that original example system, this is really, a vocabulary. Before I forget, vocabulary is really important. There's going to be a lot of words that are going to come up in philosophical texts. Maybe, maybe you're not familiar with, you can look them up. Uh, well, help your fellow students out again in the PowerPoint and help yourself out where you're creating, you know, sort of a vocabulary list or, or just explaining, you know, some parts of the vocabulary that you're familiar with and they help you understand the paper better. And then original examples. And this is what I've always uh, stressed in my classes is that what really helpful is not simply just copying and pasting stuff that you read. Because if you had a hard time understanding what you read in the paper, then copying and pasting the same thing doesn't really solve it because you're so confused, right? Put it in a form that you understand. Give an original example that you relate to and that made sense to you and that helped you understand the text better or remember the text better. So I wanna see those aspects into uh, your PowerPoint. So you don't have to present the PowerPoint in a traditional form or you know, record a video or anything that. All you have to do is as a group, put the PowerPoint together. And that's where I'm gonna provide a copy afterwards once you submit it, I grade it for everybody to use later on the course. So that's the main thing. Now let's go back real quick. Well, what I'm sure everybody's asking, what group do I belong to? When do I have to turn it in? This is where you're gonna go to the list of groups, all members of dates. So you're gonna open this up and you can see, and there's copies for all the papers as well. Group one, their, their project is gonna be due on February 9th before 5 p.m. And so these group, three group members are going to be working on this particular text. Gen Ed, except for you, that's the thing that we're gonna read and that's, everybody's gonna to have to read it, but they're the ones who are gonna do a PowerPoint about that particular to help us. And as you see, each group has their own date and their own paper to cover, and that'll go for the rest of the semester. And so how do you contact your group? The best thing I think to do is click on the email option here. And here you can send to everybody who's in the class an email. So you can just select users, which might be the easiest, find the names of your group members and start communicating with each other. You can attach files as well. That might be easier too uh, if you're trying to put together the PowerPoint. So all this is available to you. Now, when you're done with that and you save the PowerPoint and it's the final version and you have your leader kind of put everything together, then you're going to submit it here. You're just going to simply click the PowerPoint setting here, attach the PowerPoint, and then submit and I'll get a copy of it. So that's the PowerPoint assembly. So I hope that clears up a lot of questions regarding that. Now, one assignment that's going to come up, it's our only quiz, but it will be coming up, is our logic quiz. And that's because we've been spending the first part of this course, the first three weeks, covering logic and critical thinking. And that was provided in the syllabus. So if you take the syllabus, remember I have everything uh, as an online copy. You did not have to buy a textbook for the existing course because everything was provided for you. So you simply, all you have to do is go to the weeks, right? Week one, two, three, you just had to click the PDF and that was the text that you're gonna be looking over. And that's what the quiz is gonna be. Over. So the first quiz is going to be due February 6th by 11 p.m. And it's going to cover a little bit of everything that came from this PDF reading. And I've also included the PowerPoint with that, and I will upload a discussion, um, sorry, a video lecture regarding that as well. So you're going to submit that, and that's going to be your first assignment that you're going to submit. And then you can see the rest of the weeks, everything again is provided. Uh, you're going to go through some of the material here. All you have to do is click the link. And then the PDF, which is usually the group project or the main reading, and where we're going to have questions regarding the discussion over, is going to be at the very end. 
and I usually identify that as PDF, right? So you're gonna click that. Like for example, let me show you the first one. It'll open up a window and then you'll see a copy. And so this is the first paper you are gonna read. And this is what the first discussion paper is gonna be for, or response, right? And the first PowerPoint assignment. Now, in order for copyright rules and stuff like that, I couldn't let people just download it freely. So my alternative is that it just, I can allow you access to it online uh, at any time. So that's why I created the syllabus with links. So you can simply just click on the links on the syllabus and it'll bring you to those folders and those readings. And that's how we'll go for the most part. What will be coming up in the future is our applied response, our first one. Think of applied responses as essays. It's kind of mini essays. And I'll have a whole explanation on how to do that once we get closer there. Our first applied response is not due until March 20th. You have some time. But keep in mind that that is coming up and that it will be part of the overall grade. So if you take a look at the breakdown for the course, you know, we'll have a logic quiz. We'll have a look, group PowerPoint assignment. That'll be worth 10% of your grade. Uh, the report is worth another 10%. Then you're also going to have uh, 10 discussion posts throughout the semester. And you do have to respond to those posts as well as other people's posts. So keep that in mind. And that's also going to be part. And then you're going to have uh, three applied responses. And then you'll also have a midterm and a final. And those will be worth 20%. And you'll have three applied responses, and that will be broken up. Uh, and, but all together, they'll be worth 20% of your grade. Now the midterm and the final alone, those are worth 20% each. And those are big chunks. And what the midterm and final will cover is of course, everything up to that point. So everything from week one to the midterm week, that'll, that's will be on the midterm. And then the final will be anything after the midterm up to the very last week of class. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, also communicate with me. If your project members are not communicating with you, they're not responding, you send them numerous emails, let me know, keep me in the loop, and I can see if I can uh, talk with them, okay? And so if you have any questions, I'm here to help, and I hope that made more sense on some of the assignments.